Hi everyone, uh, Nessie here. Um, so yeah, it's been a long time and um, that's mainly because I have had the worst summer ever. I have had just one medical condition after another this year and it's really hit me quite hard. I really suffered from um, fatigue and kind of like a loss of motivation and inspiration so I just haven't really been doing much at all but I am slowly getting back into it and because I kind of lost um, motivation and inspiration I kind of followed a craft with me series that um, Pink Monarch Prince did they released a series called um, Something Blue which was basically a three ring binder um, series from start to end and um, what she did was she released five, uh, ten, ten sections and each section was one double sided page and then she binded the ten cards with um, three rings and although I do have rings I didn't really want to do mine as a ring binder so I made mine into a paper bag album I basically got a hold of these um, glassine bags from a scrap store. I've never seen them before. They're almost like um, bread bags, but they're kind of like a like a white glassine type or paper type feel. No, it's not glassine. Well, yeah, between the two, they're really, really long. Never seen bread rolls that long, but um. I generally got about three bags out of each bag so I decided I was going to use these because they were the perfect width for her um, kits so I used those um, now I pretty much followed her kits step by step because I was doing it to just keep me hand in the game and to hopefully draw some inspiration and motivation from it I did change a few things. They also released a um, folio that was quite similar to it. And what I did was I took that folio and took some of the pages from it and made it into pages to go into here. So I have a total of 12 pages, whereas she did 10. And I also didn't like... It's not that I didn't like her front cover, I didn't want her front cover because her front cover she kind of um, was already made up for you, already done and I wanted to do my own front cover so I didn't use the front cover in the first section kit, I um, replaced it with another page and did my own cover, if you kind of get what I mean. Anyway, I will put a link to her um, shop in the description book below. And it was a series called Something Blue. And I think she also brought another one out after she finished that one. Which is more of a neutral butterfly one. Which is absolutely beautiful. And no doubt I will do it at some stage. But yeah, basically I want to show you this journal. But it's not really... Some of it's my work and some of... But most of it is comes from Pink Monarch Prints. It was just something I did to kind of get me back into the journaling phase. And it worked. So if you're feeling a slump and lack of motivation, maybe a follow-on kit is for, will help you get back into it. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling and get on with it. So like I say, this is a paper bag album. It measures um four and a half four and a half inch which is about um, just under 11 and a half centimeters by eight inch which is about 21 20 and a half centimeters the spine is mm, it's about two inch five centimeters so I made my cover out of um, chipboard card, but I did cover it with some wadding to give it kind of like a little bit of a padded feeling, not much of a padded feeling, and um, some blue fabric. I then put some um, music paper on. 
I fussy cutted this image from a tag with the frame, some lace and stitching and a bit of layering and it basically says journal. Okay, um, so I haven't put a closure on it because as you can see it, it closes quite nice by itself. So there's no closure on this one. So as we open it, now I haven't put anything on the covers of this because there's so much in it and it was bulky enough that I just didn't think it really needed it. So it's just the plain on the inside cover. So first one. Now, I think, but I'm not sure because there's two pages like this, but I think this one might be from the folio. Does this one? Yeah, I think this one might be from the folio. So this does undo. So you can undo it. And they flip open. And inside there is a pocket. And in that pocket there is... Do you know what? I don't know why, but for some reason I haven't backed or fin backed these ones. Or stitched them. So I'll tell you... I will do that. I am going to back these and stitch them because, as you know, I back all my um, cards and stitch them. I don't know why. Well, I don't stitch all of them, but majority. I don't know why I didn't do these. I don't know how I missed that. But anyway, these are what will be in there. There's such beautiful images on the this kit. But I will stitch... Um, back them and stitch I will stitch these ones and then um, obviously to close it up you just thread the string through the hole the eyelet and you tie it up now inside each bag I have two journal cards one will face this way the other one will face this way so in this one on this I've left these plain I've left them plain. I've only put like a little layer or a label or something on the one side and the other side's plain. Mainly because of the thickness I've left these as they are. But this is also so you can do what you want. You can write on it. You can add a photo or whatever. It's it. This is your journaling space basically. So that's the card on that side. And that will slot in. On the other side, right, these are pages of, from the Something Blue kit. So you've got this one here with circle pockets. I've done circle pockets before like this, but I've never turned them on their side before. And I just think they look so, it actually looks so nice. And I've added some lace and a bit of layering. And each circle card comes with a little journal card. And this one. And then the card on this side is this one with a little butterfly on it. I had so much fun doing this. I would definitely recommend these kits if you want to do something where you're just crafting along. Although, like you said, I did change it up. This is another one. It's just a bottom pocket. With a bit of lace and some layering on it and there is a little tag and a larger one and like I say these have been backed I will back the other ones they slip in there and then on this side your card is this next page Again, um, these are from the Something Blue kit and each of these file pockets has a tiny cute little tag in it and a little square journal card. So those are that one. And then... There's this one. And 
you don't get this tape measure in her. her she had to leave a lot of her well all of hers she left a gap here for the three rings to go in so I've tried to like cut I didn't want to use the ring so I've kind of added stuff like here I added lace some of them I just moved it over so you've got more of a they're more central and these two little ones so cute here you oh let me show you the card on this side there's a little bird next page is a large side pocket uh kind of like the envelope without the flap cut with the flap flap cut off that has a large card in it and the card on this side is there you go it's just a butterfly I was going to leave them plain but then I thought no we'll put a little bit just a little thing on it to give it some prettiness other side okay this is the one where it's in the kit but she did it like this page here um and I because I had done this one from the folio I decided to do this one on the sides and use it as a belly band this one doesn't open because it is a belly band it is fixed down so you don't need to open that in there there is a card which is also ha has a belly band on it and inside the belly band there's a little tag that you can take out and that slips in and then that goes in there so that was um this i just basically swapped it from top to bottom to the sides and there's a card there this is a page of belly bands because on the other side there are two little belly bands that i've um, added some lace to and each belly band has a little envelope in it and inside the envelope there is a little card so there's that one beautiful little pretty card and that slips in there and this one has this one and again that's backed I'm using so many of her kits lately i do love her kits especially her subscription one if you're a journaler i would definitely recommend them and there's this card Now, like I say, there is 10 series to this kit. Um, I didn't buy them all in one go. I think I bought a couple every week or so. But I always waited until she had a big sale on. She had, they have lots of big sales. On this side, there is this one. So, yeah, I would recommend that if you do want to buy the kit, wait till they have a sale on. They always have them on. So, And then this side, you've got three ta three pockets each one has a tag in that one this one and this one and um this has been decorated with some lace and stitching and then this flops out and you've got a little bit of extra journal space there and then that flops in that's not a no it's not and then these tags go in the pockets and they just kind of hold the, the flap down really. Like so. Right, this side. Um, this flip here um, was not is not part of the kit this was the actual closure of the folio and because i wasn't making the folio i was using it in here i decided to use the closure side and make it into like a half circle pocket so which i then just did some layering on and um, that has a half circle card in it 
collaged card and that slots in there then this flips open and I've just left the other side blank for um, tea dyed paper for journaling and then there's another belly band here uh, there's a lot of belly bands in this kit but that's fine I like a belly band and inside there is this absolutely beautiful envelope and in the envelope there is a corresponding card it's such a pretty images and that just slips into the belly band and then um, the big card on this side is why are they oh, it's caught on the tag there you go is this one with the little bird on it which corresponds with the bird and the belly band and then the next page is um, some stacked pockets so you, there's three stacked pockets bottom one has got these two beautiful little cards in Next one up has got a long thin one and a tag. There's just so much in this al um, paper bag album. I'll adjust it later. And then the back one has got a nice long tag in. That goes in the back pocket. And the card on this side is Life is Poetry. It's pretty. And that goes inside the paper bag. On the other side, we have um, a pocket which is um, kind of like an envelope. So this opens, it's got a magnetic closure that opens out to reveal a like hidden journal space. And it also doubles up as a pocket which has two journal cards in. And hopefully I'm still in camera. This one has a little rose on. Life is beautiful. So it's not just poetry, it's beautiful as well. <laughs> Sorry. And on the um, other side, you've got another flip. So you've got this tiny little pocket on the front, which has a dinky little tiny card in it. Again, I just decorate this has got some gauze on it. This flips out, but it also is a pocket that has a tag in it. Life's sweet this time. <laughs> that goes in there. And on the other side, there's like a little tiny, tiny dinky little pocket with two diddy little cards in. It's quite fun. And here is another slanted pocket with a larger tag in. And then the larger card on this one is um, just some, a flower card, really. And then that pops into the bag. Here we have three little envelopes that also um, double up as pockets. So each envelope has got a, um, a little card inside. Well, not on inside, in the pocket. And this one. Now these envelopes um, 
have these circles that hold them closed so you just got to kind of lift it out from behind they're not closed envelopes they open out and inside there is um, a little journal card and these are actually pockets and I don't know why I don't have anything in that let me just see if I've got anything that's small enough to fit that I can pop in um, let's have a look Okay, so I've got some of these. Let's tear these off. And this is like a little pocket. Okay, these are too big. I'll find something to put in there. But yeah, I didn't actually realise that was empty. And that has a little journal card inside. And then you just close them up. And then tuck the top under the circle. This one. Yeah, see, I've left all the little pockets empty. I don't know why I did that. There's a little card in. I'm going to find some little tickets or cards or something, and I will pop something into these little pockets as well. Little labels, maybe, that you can use. I've probably made left quite a few things out yeah this one says letters on it mainly because like i say i just finding it so draining at the moment with the fatigue yeah i um i got lyme disease this summer and oh it was horrendous the fatigue is on a whole new level and the journal card here There's a little flower picture on it. And on the other side, we here we have um, stacked pockets, but they're stacked side pockets. And I decorated that with some lace and stitching. And then there's this card in one, which is beautiful, as it says. And then... The middle one and the last one is such a it's so cute I do like little things like this they're so cute sorry uh, yeah let's it goes in there and then the pocket on this side, it's not that one, it's this one, is um, a little flower. This is um, from the folio. She did a waterfall one. These are waterfalls in the folio, but I did them as three separate pockets because there's already a waterfall in here and I didn't really want to do two waterfalls. It's quite bulky. So I used the um, images to just do three separate little pockets and each pocket has a card in it. And a rose one. And a bird one. And in this one, it's this card. Which is another flower fussy cup. On the next page, there is a... Um, I don't actually know what you call these pockets, but it's kind of like a, I don't know. Anyway, it's a side, large pocket. And in there, there are three tags. There is a large one. Then there's a smaller tag. And this one. And they all go in. And the large card.
out on this side is a bird. And on this side there is a uh, large pocket with two smaller pockets on and in the smaller pockets there are these tiny little cards. They've also been backed. And these two. And then in the larger pocket there is a larger tag. And then in the bag pocket there is a flower one. On the other side, there is another one of these um, kind of large envelope type pockets. This one I decorated with a butterfly and some lace again. This one has lots of little cards in it as opposed to one big card. So you've got um, these three little ones. Then there's uh, this one. And this one. And they all slip in. And then the card on this side is forever and ever. I like that, forever and ever. And here we have the waterfall that I mentioned before. So, um, yeah, these waterfalls, as you, you know, they lift up. And this one has a little pocket on. And I remember to fill this one with two little, there's a little label and a little card in the first one. Next one is of a bird. And that one also has, oh, maybe they all have pockets. I can't even remember what I did. And these are the two little tags in. And then we've got a clock one. That one lifts up and has a label and another little tag. These are quite nice for decorating things that you do. Like your photos and things. This one has a um, little label and another label. It's quite nice if you put brads in those. This one, a bird, lifts up and there's a little tag and a card. And the last one of a rose lifts up and here you've got a little clock and another tag. And then um, that's just some collaging underneath. So that's the waterfall and then this pocket has a not that one that one a circle flower and then on the other side there is a another uh just like a bottom pocket with some layering on it says beautiful day and in this one there is a tag um stuffed pocket tag and in here we've got this one and this one and then on the bottom top pocket there is another two tags just do this and that's also backed and that goes in the big bottom pocket and this back tag has just sweet life on it and that will go into the paper 
bag. Here we have a, another flip. I think this is from... I think it's from the folio. To be honest, I can't remember. It's probably It might not be. And that flips open and you have a belly band that I've done some stitching on. I don't know. I think it... I honestly don't know. Don't quote me. I'll link the folio and the um, something blue anyway. And there you have a large tag and a kind of postcode type. Po not postcode. Postcard. And this has three pockets on it as well. And each pocket here has a little card and also has two more of these um, thin ones that one the middle one is a bird with the th long thin butterflies and like a cut up bingo card isn't it and then the top one is um, a butterfly that one and if I a little flower one And inside the um, paper bag is a little bird. And that closes. And then here we have um, an envelope that is again doubled up as a belly band. <laughs> and inside there is a nice butterfly card and this envelopes with um, closes by being tucked behind the butterfly like the other ones were tucked behind the circle this one's behind the butterfly so we just got to pull it out like so and inside there is a nice long card collaged card and then to close it again you just tuck it behind the um, butterfly and the journal card in the bag is a little bird and that goes into the bag and here we have um, another belly band <laughs> This is a four belly band, but this one's on top of a pocket. I didn't realise how many belly bands were in this, but it's all good. Belly bands are good. They've got these little cards in and these um, open up like this. Got a little thing on the back. So that one's number four. Number three is a little bird. That's a thing on the back. And it's like they're quite cute for um, little journal messages or quotes, that whatever you like to do, really. And number one is a I'm all fingers and thumbs today as well. A little butterfly that opens up. And there's a little label on the back and then in the pocket there is a nice long journal card and in this paint bag there is another flower And 
then on the last page there is a, a double pocket like a stacked pocket um, again some lacing and in the front pocket there's two little cards And in the back pocket, there is a nice, long, thin card. And it's got a um, little dragonfly on the back. And then the last paper bag card is a little bird. And like I say, I didn't do anything on the inside of the covers because there's just so much in this journal. It's just packed rammed with so much stuff and quite a lot of journaling space mainly because of the big cards and um there's the back cover so i had so much fun doing this even though like i say the majority of it 90 percent of it is um following her kit and her tutorials but um sometimes it's just nice to not have to think and just do something especially when you're not well so I will be listing this one in my shop. Um, so yeah, you can do, please go and check it out. Also, I will also put the links to her shop in the description. The um, kit is called Something Blue. There's 10 parts. The folio, I don't think is called Something Blue. I think it's a separate name. I will look it up and let you, I'll put it in the description box on what that's called. So if you want to get the folio as well, you can. Obviously, you don't have to. And um, I am in the processes now of making new more journals. So I will see you again soon, hopefully. So thanks for watching. And um, please do like, subscribe if you haven't, and comment. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.